Hi Libra, thanks for stopping by my channel, Beyond the Moon. I am doing your You Verse Them love spread. It is timeless, so I trust that when you see this, it's meant to find you. All right, so Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, if this does not resonate, please check your other placements for messages there. This is a general read, all right? So don't force anything to fit. Um, you can check back my playlist for other... Um, other week's videos, you might resonate with something there as well. Um, if you'd like to book a personal reading, information is in the description box below. If you are new, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. Uh, please subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment below, let me know if this resonates. I love hearing all your comments. Um, you guys are so supportive. I love all of you. Thank you so much for watching me. Um, and helping my channel grow. I really do appreciate you guys. So um, Libra, I'm gonna do your energy on this side, your person's on this side. Feel free to switch roles as you see fit. Um, could be the whole side, could be one or two things. Um, feel free to flip flop and reverse the energies um, to how they fit. Don't force anything though, all right? Um, leave those messages for other people if they don't pertain to you. And um, Libra, you could be in a connection or you could be single. This is for whoever is on your mind the most. So let's get into it and see what's going on in love. So we have unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going and release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. All right, so it looks like you might be transforming from one to possibly a new relationship because we have getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves, your bond deepens. All right, so releasing, making room for something new to come in, perhaps. Let's see, one more, please, for Libra. Libra, thank you. And we have children. Your love life is being affected by children. And bottom of the deck, we have soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. So the children card, it could literally mean children. Um, maybe you have children with an ex that you're trying to walk away from, or they do. Um, or you have children together or something along those lines. Um, or this could mean that maybe you need to be a little bit more playful, or they do. Someone does. Um, needs to be a little bit more playful or someone could be acting a little bit immature. All right, so let's get into your reading and see. There could be a couple different storylines I'm picking up. So your overall energy um, is your energy by the book, being balanced, doing things the right way, following the rules, um, taking one step at a time, but making sure you're being methodical and doing it right. I feel like you don't want to screw anyone over or take anything that's not yours. You do want to be fair, all right? Um, so let's see, your person's overall energy. They have unfinished symphony. So it's funny because, not funny, but ironic or not, I don't know, whatever. This card, yours is an 11 and theirs is a 10. So it's kind of like you're one step ahead of them is what I'm getting from that. But they have unfinished symphony. So this person may feel like there's unfinished business, still things to take care of, or doesn't want to let you go, all right? Um, there is an egg in the picture, which could mean um, the birth of something new or renewing the connection or starting fresh. Um, maybe there's music. You guys are into music. Someone could play the piano. Um, just throwing that out there, but Someone could like elephants as well, but let's see. So um, Libra, I'm going to go into your energy first and then see what's going on with your person. So starting off with the Queen of Wands. So Aries predominant, Leo or Sag, Four of Swords, and then Ace of Wands. So either you are dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, or have strong placements of that. Or this is saying, uh, Libra, that you are just in that driven, passionate, powerful, feeling sexy and attractive, fun, flirty, playful um, type energy here. Like really um, following what it is that you're passionate about and maybe you're going out having fun. Um, but also at the same time, I feel like you are healing. You're doing some healing work or you pulled your energy back from this connection in order to reflect and heal. And at the same time, 
you know, feeling good about yourself in this decision. Um, and then Ace of Wands. So there's a lot of passion or attraction or something going on um, in your life right now. So maybe walking away from someone is kind of giving you like your confidence back, your, you know, your sexiness, you know, that kind of thing. Male or female too. There's no gender in tarot, okay? Um... Let's see, can I get one more for Libra, please? One more. You know, maybe after the breakup, you went and got a new makeover, went shopping, or, you know, for some of you, not all. So we have three of pentacles in the reverse here. So, yeah, I feel like you're just giving up putting in any effort or work or teamwork or building anything together with this person here. I feel like you're really focusing on some kind of new beginning um, that's going to give you that that you're passionate about or that you feel like something that's going to give you spark, motivation, you know, make you feel good about your decisions. So, well, your person has eight of pentacles. So either they're focusing on work or it's saying that they really want to put work into this connection. But let's get some more cards and see. Ten of wands. So putting down a burden... Because the Ten of Wands, it's like, you know, they've, car this, they've carried a burden for a while and now it's a 10. It's at the end. So now it's like they're putting it down. Yeah. So your person's going through a transformation. The Death card, Scorpio Energy, and Six of Swords. So I feel like your person is possibly just like putting all their like focus or work and effort into possibly their career. Um to put some kind of burden down, make some kind of transformation. They could be even really working on themselves. Maybe they're going to therapy or getting help or talking to a professional or just really like dedicated and making some kind of transformation here. So things can move into a calmer space. Calmer waters there. The lovers. The, this person could feel... Like you're their soulmate or someone has a, a choice to make in love. All right, let's see. What's blocking you, Libra, from this person? What's your blockages or external influences for Libra? Blockages or external influences. Wow, a lot. Okay. So Wheel of Fortune and Eight of Cups, I feel like either things were kind of stuck and stagnant, not moving, or they weren't going the way you thought that you that you thought they were going or you wanted them to. And I feel like you want to walk away from something. Because that's a blockage here. So walking away is a blockage, but it's like maybe you feel stuck. Yeah, the Ace of Cups in reverse. Unrequited love. Libra, I feel like maybe you just, you've fallen out of love and now you're really like trying to find your fun, passionate, sexy side again. And then we have strength, Leo energy, Knight of Swords, Gemini energy, High Priest. Yeah, so this could have been a marriage for some of you or somebody could be married that's blocking this connection. Take that how it resonates. But it seems like... Um, Either someone had maybe like a little bit of an ego or a self-esteem issue. Could be or both, you know. Sometimes people with low self-esteem have a big ego just to cover it up. Um, someone could have been very like in and out or unstable or their actions weren't matching their words. Um, and a higher level of commitment here. So for most of you, I'm feeling like this person here was like... You were either married or you had children or a family lived together. You know, you had that like family dynamic thing going. Um, but there wasn't enough love or someone just wasn't feeling happy. Yeah, I feel like you were being really stressed out and you were like your soul searching. It's Virgo energy there. You're soul searching, I feel like. Or you were, at least. Let's see what's blocking this person. Temperance in reverse, Sagittarius energy. 
So someone wasn't like going with the flow. Maybe someone had one foot in, one foot out, or um, maybe someone couldn't commit or wouldn't commit. For some of you, that message isn't for all. Yeah, so like I said, and then the fool pops out in a blockage. So Aries energy and page of cups. It's like someone wasn't willing to give all to this connection. Someone wasn't willing to take that risk, that leap of faith, give that love offer. It was it was not balanced. It wasn't going with the flow. It could have been a little bit tough, rocky waters. Can I get one more? Thank you. High Priestess, yeah, so Pisces, Scorpio energy. Someone's either keeping secrets or secrets came out or someone's intuition might be lighting up here saying like this, something's not right. I feel it, Some, you know, feel it deep down. Something isn't right here, which could be causing like fear of taking a leap or taking that jump to the next level of commitment. I feel like it might be you. Honestly, that might be feeling like not feeling this connection anymore, Libra. I feel like it's Libra energy that might not be feeling this. But again, feel free to reverse the roles. Um, but let's see, how does Libra genuinely feel about this person? How does Libra genuinely feel? The Chariot, Cancer, Energy, Seven of Cups, King of Swords, King of Pentacles. Um, Libra, you may have options, but this is how you feel about them. So you might feel that they have options. One of you has options, okay? Um, you could feel someone kind of moves too fast. The King of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and then the Chariot, Cancerian Energy. This is how you feel about them. So you could feel, there's two ways I could look at this. You could feel confused about the way this connection is moving, what direction it's going, um, because maybe this person is a little bit cold and cut off. Um, they could be financially stable, or this person could be in another commitment and you feel that it's causing confusion for you or blocking you from moving forward with them. All right. There's different stories going on here. I felt that from the beginning. So take it how it resonates. Okay. Um, or there could be an air sign or a Taurus that's involved here causing or Taurus Virgo Capricorn, uh, an earth sign that could be causing some confusion here. Maybe you feel this person wants to move in a different direction or you do. Can I get one more please for how they feel? Thank you. Ten of Wands. So you're feeling like this person's causing a burden. You might feel like they're a little bit sneaky, shady, lying, betrayal, backstabbing, that kind of a thing. And it's causing a burden. So yeah, there's some confusion here. There may be other people involved, all right? Could be a friend, family, coworker, boss, work, life, kids. Could be somebody of a love interest. I don't know. You're going to have to place that where you see fit. There are other energies here. And that's how you feel about them. So, I mean, maybe you have a choice between this person and someone else. I, I don't know. There's just, there's a lot of different stories going on with this one. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so this person, how they feel about you is the two of cups in reverse. There's that unrequited love too. So I feel like maybe both of you really are on the same page with that. Or they feel like that's how you feel about them. Maybe they can sense that the love just isn't there anymore like it used to be. This person could be reminiscing or thinking about the old times with you guys with the Six of Cups and wants to like reconcile or 
We also have Knight of Wands, Sagittarius energy, and Knight of Pentacles, Virgo energy. This person could also be thinking that you don't love them anymore. Maybe somebody from the past came back that you rushed to or had a lot of uh, history with or passion with, attraction with, and you might be moving slowly towards that person. So... Libra, I'm just going to say I do feel like that's on this side. This person may have been a little bit shady or sneaky or caused a lot of burdens or some confusion in your life. However, I feel like maybe someone from the past came back or somebody struck your interest and now you're just kind of like, I, mm, I don't think I want this. But I can tell you this person is still holding on to you. All right. This person is still holding on to you this person. All right, let's see. What are your hopes for the outcome? Keep in mind that you have free will. You're in the driver's seat of your life, so it could literally change or you can change your mind. All right. So the hermit again, Virgo energy. So I feel like your hopes for the outcome here, I'm going to get a couple more cards, but I feel like you're really wanting to use your wisdom, your knowledge, thing you things that you've learned, um, throughout your life and relationships or even just this one um, paying attention to like red flags or things that bother you or what it is that you really want like I feel like you're going within and you are lighting that path forward and following where you feel like you need to go instead of staying stuck in something where you're not happy the world so either there's a distance here physically or emotionally or it's like you're ready to start a new chapter you're ready to close out something and start something completely new see what else the empress yep so taurus and your energy libra there could be a child involved or a parent involved or this is like you want to start a new chapter and maybe start a family or have some babies or something like that um that's for some of you and then hanged me on pisces energy so i feel like you are uh, either hoping this person gets a new perspective on this connection and gets some clarity, maybe changes their ways in order for this to like stay together. Or this is saying that you are pulling your energy back so you can get a different perspective on your life and what you want. So like taking time for yourself to figure things out. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles. You could be focusing on work as well. You could work with this person for some of you. Um, can I have one more, please? Hopes for the outcome. Seven of Pentacles in the reversed. Ending any stagnant energy or things that weren't growing, things where you felt stuck, things weren't moving or growing or blossoming or, you know, becoming abundant. It feels like, I feel like, Libra, you guys were on like a very routine structured mm, like no fun no excitement things were just kind of like mm, blah and now I feel like you're trying to step away from this connection and find yourself again and reconnect with your passions and what makes you happy you might even be reconnecting with like friends past friends you haven't seen in a while um, stuff like that. I feel like, yeah, you're ignoring things. You're thinking about your past a lot. Um, you are feeling very stuck right now. You're feeling very stuck, but I feel like, yeah, you want to release and find what's ha what's going to level you up. What's going to take you to the next level? What's going to bring you happiness? Maybe it's meeting somebody, a soulmate, you know, getting engaged or buying a house on your own or with somebody or, you know, having that celebration, having some kind of accomplishment here. But I feel like you're, you're very bored. Things are kind of like just stagnant and like routine. You need some fun in your life, which is why I think you are showing up as the queen of wands. You know, she's fun, fiery, passionate, attractive, single, flirty, goes out, has fun conversations, you know, just enjoys herself. She's also very, like, driven and 
um, goes after what she wants, paves new paths, people look up to her, follow her, male or female, it doesn't matter. You know, I feel like that's the energy that you're in. Like you're trying to find your spark again. Um, all right, so let's see, what's this person's hopes for the outcome? Well, they want a reconciliation, <laughs> Scorpio energy. Um, I feel like they want to change directions here with the wheel. Um, they want to change some kind of direction or change the way things are, possibly if there was competition or drama or other people involved. I feel like they want the wheel to turn in the opposite direction, like make a, a complete, what is it, 180 or 360, whatever. They want to change completely everything. Um, but they want reconciliation. They want to come back. They're tired of arguing. Again, there could be a divorce on the table for some of you, or it's just a really family-oriented like separation. Maybe there's contracts involved, a house, car loans, credit cards. I don't know. Um, but there could be some kind of contracts involved that I feel like this person, they just don't want to fight. They don't, they, it's like they want to fight off all these other people and energies, but they do want to reconcile. And I feel like this person wants to match your energy here. All right. Leo, Aries, Sag. This is divine counterparts, king and queen of wands. All right. It doesn't matter the sign. This is the energies. Like, I feel like this person wants, see, they might see you leveling up. And it's like now they they realize this and now they want to come towards you the same energy and level up with you. But then you're probably going to be like, well, where the hell was this energy years ago or a month ago, whatever, however long it's been, you know, why is, why now? But maybe you've opened this person's eyes. I feel like they went through some kind of sadness or feeling of loss, regret, remorse, um, I feel like there's more love on this side than there is on that side. I feel like you're kind of not necessarily to say love. Okay. Um, there's definitely love between the two, but I feel like the mundane of life and the just routine, boring type stuff may have gotten you a little bit curious about what else is out there what what am i here for like soul searching right that's what i feel like all right so again you have free will libra um this person does want a reconciliation and i feel like they want to match your energy and level up with you so that's on you they have unfinished symphony they're not done they want to fix this they want to put in the work and end any burdens and get things to a calmer place, calmer waters. I just don't know if you do. I feel like you're kind of trying to find yourself again, doing some soul searching. All right. So let's see. What, um, what's the biggest obstacle that Libra is going to have to face in the near future? What is the biggest obstacle? conditioning yeah finding yourself again soul searching releasing conditioning releasing old ways old habits even from childhood um finding yourself again having that renewal finding that creativity taking leaps of faith getting out of your comfort zone having courage this is stuff that you're going to need to overcome or obstacles that you're going to have to face so it is like if this person is trying to keep you stuck or you're feeling very stuck um, these are going to be obstacles. Live moment to moment. Playfulness. Be playful. Slow down a little. Make sure that you think before you act on, on things, you know. Um, let's see. What else? Overall, though, I mean, that's good energy, you know. Having faith, taking leaps of faith, trusting in yourself and your decisions in the universe. Releasing past conditioning, though. Like if you were controlled or someone was always telling you what to do, like if you were a stay-at-home parent and you were just always with the kids and had, you know what I mean? You know where I'm going with that? Um, so we have coffee cup, meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted and friendship. Yeah, 
I feel like that's the kind of energy you're in. Just getting out of the house and changing stuff up. Meeting up with friends. Finding yourself again. Acts. Break up. Separation. Stop the pattern. Silent treatment. Abandonment. Yeah. Definitely feel like there's a separation here. 100%. It, this could be a soulmate, but not all soulmates are meant to stay forever. You know, some do come and go, right? Um, let's see, what would this person like to say to you? What would this person like to say? Anything? I'm confused about what I should do about my feelings for you. Yeah, because they're not done. I want to hold you again. I need to feel your body next to mine. Yeah, you are they're not done with you. You were my sanctuary. You were the only person I could confide in, and I betrayed your trust. I miss looking into your eyes and into your soul. But yeah, this person, they're, they're not done. Or at least they're not accepting it yet. If you did walk away or break it off, you know. Um, what advice do we have? Dragonfly spirit. Truth transcends illusion. So be truthful to yourself, to the situation. Just be honest about feelings and, you know where you see your life headed and it's funny now you had the 11 card and this is a 22 uh nightingale spirit love is all around all right so live in the energy of love um if you are love you attract love you're you become love right um you have love all around you cow spirit the miracles are endless all right, and then parrot spirit, watch your words. So just remember if it's like a hard conversation or fighting or arguing, watch your words. Be in, be love, you know, um, that's your advice there. So Libra, that's what I have for you. I hope it helps. Please comment below. Let me know if this is your story. Please subscribe to my channel, like this video, and join my, uh, my gang here, my team, you know, all my... Uh, YouTube friends <laughs> would love to have you here. Um, all right. And if you'd like to book a personal reading, information is in the description box below. And until next time, Libra, love and light. Take care.